everybody, it's Jenny, and today I'm sharing another card for Pixie Dust Designs using their newest Christmas in July release. And for my card today, I'm going to be working with the super cute Nutcracker Mug Die, as well as the super versatile nesting frames, which also come with five different word dies. And I'm also going to be doing some fun paper piecing, so I'm just going to bring in this Christmas paper pad from my stash. When I first seen this die, I knew I wanted to do it in pastel colors, so this paper pad will work perfectly for that. To get started, I'm going to bring in a piece of white cardstock to cut the main cup base piece, as well as some of the other elements. For the rest of my pieces, I'm going to flip through the paper pad and go ahead and pick out a couple different pattern papers. And once I have all my pieces laid out, I can go ahead and die cut everything at once. After I die cut my pieces, you can see that I have them still sitting in the bits of paper that I cut them out from, just because later when I go and add some depth with some Copic markers, it's easier for me to hold on to. But for now, I'm going to go ahead and push all those little pieces aside and start working on the base of my mug. And I'm going to color in the Nutcracker's face using some Tattered Rose Distress Oxide. Next step, to add some pink little cheeks, I'm going to use some sponge sugar. Once I have a nice blend, I can go ahead and set that aside and bring in some Copic markers to add some shadows to my other pieces. And here you can see how it's just a little easier to go ahead and color in these pieces while they're still sitting in the cutouts. Once all my coloring is done, I can move on to my favorite part, which is piecing everything together. So I do want to mention here that I made a little bit of a mistake when attaching this green piece. So I should have moved it up a little more and you'll see why when I attach the hair and the mustache.
So here was my issue. When I attached the mustache, I had the bottom half of the face showing that I didn't color, which would be totally fine to leave that way and would be just as cute. But since I didn't have it colored and I already had it covered in glue, I went ahead and took that green piece off and just scooched it up a little bit. And once I had my mug all pieced together, I went ahead and moved on to my little dessert and I added the swirl and the icing. And once everything was put together, I thought it needed a little sparkle, so I brought in a Wink of Stella clear glitter brush pen and just added that to all the pink elements of my pieces. I also brought in a white jelly roll pen to add some shine to the eyes. Next up, I'm going to work on my sentiment using these nesting dies, and I'm going to start with the smallest and then one size up from that of the frames and cut that out from some more of that pattern paper. And I'm going to cut the word joy from some white cardstock. Then I'm going to go ahead and color in the word joy with the same pink markers I used earlier. And of course I'm going to top that off with some more sparkle. And to keep everything cohesive I just went ahead and added some shadow to my label pieces as well. Next, I layered my two pieces and then went ahead and added the word joy on top. To create my background, I brought in two more pattern papers from the paper pad, and I'm just going to use some stitched rectangle dies and go ahead and trim those out. Once I have both my layers cut out, I can go ahead and layer them up and start gluing everything together. To attach my dessert, I went ahead and popped that up with some foam tape. And for the last step, I created a card base and attached my panel. And here is a closer look at my finished card. Be sure to check out the Christmas and July release at the Pixie Dust Designs shop. And all products used are linked in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!